Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Adventure Escape Mysteries. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get through chapter six of Cursed Crown. Enjoy. Yay, we're finally gonna meet the dragon. All right, first tap on the ring in the corner. So now you have a choice whether to take it or not. It's pretty ring, but I'm going to choose not to take it. All right. Grab the vine near the ring. And grab the femur bone. Now use the grow spell on this little sapling. So now that pushed out all the bones and you can see uh, what was in there. So a bunch of little bird bones. Uh, next, you're going to move this pile of bones and get the flint. All right. Tap on the hexagon. Oh no, it's a trap. All right. So we have to figure out how to shut it. Tap on it again. It gives you a clue. So. Each one has a different food, basically. Uh, so grass, nuts and seeds, a flower, sheep, rat, and fish. All right. So what you need to do is count up the different animals that eat those things. So, for instance, snakes eat rats. Snakes also happen to be the most difficult one to count because they come in piles of two and three sometimes but anyway so you see snakes this is a ram this is a honeybee it's a bird it's even telling you what they eat nuts uh and there's one cat over here poor kitty and it even tells you fresh fish all right so a few of them you have the answer already others count them up you get six snakes, four rams, four honeybees, two bears. See, this is a bear. Uh, two birds and one cat. All right. So now. The so we know the snakes eat rats, so we have six snakes, six rats. Oops. So six rats. Rams eat grass, so four grass because there are four rams. There were four honeybees. They eat flowers. So four. Two bears. They eat the sheep. Uh, two birds. They eat the nuts. And one cat eats the fish. Now we can go through. All right, before talking to them, first sharpen this femur bone on the crystal. Now we have a bone pry bar. All right. Uh, so let's go back up. Use that to get these ears. All right. Now let's go back down. Um, use your talk to animals spell on her. All right, so before we do anything, talk now to her hatchling. So we need to get fire first before we can help. All right, so head through the right door and first uncover this necklace. We'll look at that later. 
and look at the crystals. So notice the color of the eyes. There's a bunch of things to notice actually. The eyes, the shape of the the head, the shape of the ears, the mouth, whether it's open, closed, small, basically the eyes, ears, and mouth. But the shape tells you which one you're looking at, all right? It's not easy to piece them together, but each each crystal and each reflection shows you something, some new little piece of information. So get all that information. Once you have it, tap on the statue and add the ears. And now just change everything to what you just saw. Um, so it goes like this. Blue eyes, closed mouth, and his ears are good, so leave him. This one has blue eyes also. He has different ears, and he has a very itty bitty mouth. This guy has light blue eyes, also those ears, and also an itty bitty mouth. This one has orange eyes. His ears are as is. But he has a closed mouth like that. You look funny, right? All right, so you solved that puzzle. Now we have room for a heart. We'll figure that out later. Um, use the bone, uh, bone pry bar on the picture frame. Now add the vine and use the flint to light it. Now we have a torch. All right, so let's go back to the dragons and light his homework on fire. All right, so this is a little tricky. <laughs> so we're doing the dragon's homework for him. So it goes like this. One over there, over there. Now rotate this over there. The Z goes here. Oh wait, that was the right. That goes there. Uh, this one goes here, and this, nope, 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 there we go. All right, take the clasp. And now we have these four um, sets of symbols on the monument and then the one she just showed us. So these are the five hatchlings, it's their names. And if you notice, they're made up of circles and then horizontal and vertical lines, okay? So if you remember, these gems are also a circle and then a horizontal and vertical line. So yellow is horizontal, blue is vertical, and red is the circle. So if you go back and you take a look at these, um, so circle, circle, circle is red, red, red. So you get red. Um, the second one is horizontal, circle, horizontal. That's yellow, red, yellow. So that's orange. The next one is horizontal, vertical, horizontal, or yellow, blue, yellow, so that's green. The fourth is uh, circle, vertical, circle, or red, blue, red, that's purple. And the fifth is vertical, 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 or blue, because uh, they're all blue. So 
we get red, orange, green, purple, blue. So go back here, tap, oh, there's a star there. All right, so remember it was red, orange, green, purple, and blue. All right, so now add the clasp and pick it up and use the pearl necklace to grab this pouch in there. Pick up the star gems. All right, here's what you're gonna do. Tap on these vials, place the gems down. All right, so you're gonna put them all into the right, into the right vial uh, in this order. So four left, then two left. So now some of the, the water is shifting forward. Now two right, so it's not moving. Uh, two left, two left, one right. There you go. Because you needed to make uh, nine, three, and seven. The levels had to be nine, three, and seven. I don't know if that was clear. All right, take the heart gem, place the heart gem over there, add the chain, grab it. Now you have the heart necklace, give it to the dragon. And that's chapter six. I'll be back with chapter seven in the next video. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.